before we go any farther in this conversion thing, let's do one thing that will help you out wonderfully, tremendously, stupendously, okay? Let's talk about the little medicine cup. Now, when you get these, let's say you buy some children's liquid Tylenol. It'll come with one of these. Or you buy some NyQuil liquid. Uh, it comes with one of these. Or you work in a hospital. They buy these by the tens of thousands to give medicine in. So, they're all different. Everybody who makes one marks it with different markings. Depends upon what they need to do. There is a picture, sort of kind of, one in your book on page 86. It's not complete enough. So, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna, I'm gonna draw this up here. You might want to draw this, but what I'm gonna do, once I finish this, I'm gonna take a still picture of this. I'll post that on Blackboard right after this video, and you can look at that, print it out, refer to it. You need to memorize this. In fact, you need to be able to, from memory, draw this out, mark the markings on here, and I guarantee it will just really, really be helpful. Let's make this a one ounce cup. Let's say the top of the line here. See, here's the top line. I'm doing this freehand. All the line's all goofy. My God, that's embarrassing. But that's one ounce. So a one ounce medicine cup. You foot up to there, that's one ounce. Well, let's see, about halfway down. I'm guessing halfway down. That's a better one. That's a half an ounce. That's a really hard concept for some of y'all. Well, very important. The most important thing we'll do today probably. One ounce is the same thing as 30 milliliters. You must know that. One ounce is 30 milliliters. Well, what about halfway down? Let's see. If one ounce is 30, the half an ounce mark is half of that. Ooh, let's see. 15 milliliters. Now mark this off. Do it this way. Very consistently mark off two lines here. Notice they're equally spaced or close enough. Mark off two lines here, evenly spaced. Well, there we go. Well, that represents 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and there's 30 milliliters. So we're marking this off every 5 milliliter increments. In fact, this little cup right here, of course, they mark them off. If you can see that, they have a um, five milliliter mark. They got a 10 milliliter mark. They don't mark all the rest on, but this is a stupid little cup here. That's what you need. Let's mark now two other things. Let's mark a scale here. One for tablespoons and one for teaspoons. Well, it just so happens that one ounce is two tablespoons. Takes two tablespoons to fill one ounce. Well, if that's two tablespoons, guess what halfway down the cup is going to be? Let's see, uh, half a two, two, two. Oh, that's one. So one tablespoon, again, capital T, tablespoon, the larger measurement. That's a half an ounce. Two of them is one ounce. If you remember, which you don't, well, you better, okay? One tablespoon is three teaspoons. It takes three teaspoons to fill one tablespoon. So this is three teaspoons. Well, double that, that's six. That should make sense. If one tablespoon equals three teaspoons, then two makes six. Okay. Let's now mark these other lines off. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. And there's six. So there's our medicine cup. Memorize this thing. The main R, the main ones, the top number, the top line. One ounce is 30 milliliters. That's two tablespoons. That's six teaspoons. Any of these, any one of those four, when you convert to the other ones, we'll be using this in the next video or two or three or four, or for the rest of the semester, actually. So anytime you're converting, let's say, ounces to milliliters, or milliliters to tablespoons, or tablespoons to teaspoons, or teaspoons to ounces, whatever, any one of these. You need to know how these compare. In fact, try this. One teaspoon is five milliliters. A half of an ounce is what? Three teaspoons, 15 milliliters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm going to shut up now, uh, stop this. I'll take a picture, post just this picture on Blackboard also, and then we'll come back for how to work with this. Now, this isn't going to be up there. 
to look at while I'm doing all these. Uh, so have that available. Might want to stop it, get your copy of this, or you've drawn this out if you've done what I said. And have that to look at while we go into our next video.